Thanks, and I'll be um, brief. And well, what a day it, it really has been. We've we've heard from the speakers, um, really to hear them see where they think manufacturing will be in the future and what the changes that we'll, we'll be seeing and what likely impact they'll have on both our society and indeed our workforce. Um, we've also been thinking about the challenges for us um, so that we can actually have or develop a workforce that can in, in fact deliver these changes. And we've also acknowledged that we'll need a workforce that is capable of delivering a whole um, new range of goods and services. So work as we know it will be different, with many occupations morphing into new forms of new work and new expectations and in fact new relationships. Bob opened up with a bit of history and I've actually Bob likes opening up with a bit of history and um, I actually stepped outside of the room at the time but I believe we um, went back and discussed wooden wheelwrights, blacksmiths and tinsmiths um, and occupations he tells me that have um, almost dis disappeared so I think there's probably two left. Um, but I think the, um, it, it is important to acknowledge that history and where we've come from but I guess what we're really thinking about is so what are the jobs of the future? And the impact of constantly evolving technology will be a continuing challenge and how we realise the best outcomes from these will be what we need to sort of focus on and consider. The changes we've seen in manufacturing in our lifetimes in both in Australia and globally have been significant, yet we know there'll be many more changes, even more changes to come. Uh, when the MSA board discussed this symposium late last year, we wanted to set our sail towards the future and not dwell on the past, and we felt that that was a tackle, that, a, a job that we could take on. And we wanted to position school, vocational and higher education so that as a nation we can build tomorrow's workforce. And the outcomes from today will inform us and help us shape our response to, responses to the challenges that we've spoken to today. Uh, MSA will be preparing a response and a strategy as a consequence of today, one that we'll use to try and influence decision makers and to help shape our future. And we will develop an outcomes report from today along with the streamed video, which you may have noticed caught, um, happening over the event of the day. Uh, also, very kindly, all of the speakers have agreed for their um, publications and their PowerPoints to be put on the MSA website. So uh, they'll be available for you very soon and we'll notify you accordingly. When the MSA board meets again in May, it's shortly, um, we will be setting the strategic directions for our future and that this symposium and the outcomes of the symposium will be key informants to that process. So I think the real point about all of that is today is a really, has been a really, really important event in our conversation around these sorts of things, but it isn't the end. Today is actually what we see as a very seminal moment in MSA developing um, a strategy, a position, and putting some propositions forward into how we actually tackle some of these issues, and we do our bit. In finishing, I'd like to thank the speakers today for their willingness to both be part of it, and but probably more importantly for their enthusiasm. I think the enthusiasm and the engagement of the speakers really set this event apart. So um, on behalf of MSA, I'd like to thank Goran, Swee, Sam, John and Andy for your contributions, and we have a small gift for each of you um, on behalf of the MSA board. And I think they're just the, the, the gifts will make their way to you. Sorry. Just hand it to Bob, yeah. Okay, um, I'll keep going. I'd also actually like to thank Dr. Carl for keeping, um, for his work. He kept us in line and on time during the course of the day. Um, but probably more importantly, you entertained us in a way that I don't think I've ever experienced at a conference before. So thank you very much. I am going to go home tonight and have really severe nightmares about the Grim Reaper being my maths teacher because that's what it felt like. <laughs> um, but you really brought a lot today. So thank you very much also on behalf of MSA. And finally, I'd like to thank uh, Bob, Cameron and the MSA team. They've worked really hard to um, come up with this event, put everything together and, and make it work, and it has been tremendously successful. Um, it was a conversation at a board meeting that has now actually been realised, so it's terrific to see that journey and terrific to see such a splendid day for all. And I feel quite confident it has been a splendid day. Just listening to the conversation amongst the participants is quite affirming of that as well. Thank you. Finally, thank you to everyone who participated today for your attendance and your time in your busy lives. And I guess the only thing I will apologise for is I thought the seats were a bit hard. Anyway, thank you very much. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.